the document the team has come up with is ultimately imperfect and unfinished, but it is a, a good beginning. We have agreed to disagree on the most important matter to us. We made what we believed were reasonable proposals on how to address the rising cost of living. But the government side flatly refused, terming it their exclusive business and further arguing that they got the mandate of Kenyans to execute their Kenya Kwanzaa economic agenda. We will be engaging Kenyans further in the coming weeks as we, mu as we must because the pain of the cost of living is really unbearable. In the coming weeks, the majority of Kenyans will be carrying the burden of increased school fees besides the many crises in the education sector. Be that as it may, we have come this far because of a commitment to constructive engagement and positive energy and sacrifice for the sake of our beloved country. Our team was able to get positive results on a number of the issues that we had set out in our demands. These include electoral justice, which encapsulates audits of the 2022 election process, restructuring and the constitution of the IEBC, increase of the timelines for the Supreme Court to hear and determine a presidential election petition from 14 to 21 days, and a commitment to the spirit of multi-party <coughs> democracy. We were also able to agree on the transfer of all devolved functions and the requisite resources to the county governments in addition to amending the constitution to provide for the equitable share of the county governments to not less than 20% of all revenue collected by the national government from the current 15% and the establishment of the World Development Fund. We believe that these are significant reform mileages that, if implemented, can help strengthen our governance and electoral processes and safeguard the march of democracy in Kenya. Certain aspects must be approved by the people by way of a referendum. To create the office of the leader of opposition or to formalize the office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the people of Kenya have to have their say by way of a referendum. Besides, it is a constitutional requirement that such significant restructuring of government must go through a referendum to avoid the mischief that, that may be played by some people going to court. It is also our stand that this country cannot continue moving forward by being undecided. We have to agree whether we want a parliamentary, parliamentary, presidential system or a hybrid system. Thank you. End of the statement.